Hello viewers, my name is Ochan Joffrey from Standard High School Zana. I teach physics and mathematics, both uh, levels. And uh, last meeting, we talked about uh, a topic, we started a topic, mechanics and properties of matter. And then we talked about the turning effects of forces and uh, center of gravity, stability. And then we, we did some examples like one example and today we are going to proceed with some other examples with different techniques, different approaches of handling how to solve the problems. So on uh, that was on moments. We say that we say that moments moments the moments is equal to the product of the force. We say that force Time the distance. Time the perpendicular distance from the line of action to the point or from the pivot to the line of action. So we say that this one will be F time D. That is the moment. And uh, we even got an expression for the SI unit of, uh, of moments. And you know that SI unit of force is what? Eh? This one here is Newton. And uh, the SI unit of the distance, that's perpendicular distance, SI unit is uh, meter. So when you combine the two, you get the SI unit, SI units of moments, SI unit of moments is equal to Newton, Newton meter. That was just a reminder, and even we also talk about the, the principle of moments where we say the principle of moment states that for a body to be in equilibrium that under the action of very many forces acting on it we say that the sum of the clockwise moment about the point is equal to the sum of the anticlockwise moment about that same point and uh, we did one example so today we are going to proceed an examples of how to determine the, how to solve the problems, solve problems under this topic. Then, example two. Example two. So I say that consider consider the diagram. Consider the diagram below. Consider the diagram below of, of a uniform of a uniform bar of one meter long. This bar is in equilibrium. You can say that the body is in equilibrium. Equilibrium. Under the action, under the actions of very many forces, of very many, very many forces acting on it, as shown below, like that. So we are going to see. We have this is uh, 2 newton, some distance, this is like 20 centimeter. And here we can say that from here up to this is, you can say, like 30, 30 centimeter. And then our question is we have to determine, to determine our number one. The total clockwise clockwise moment till you can say the total anti-clockwise anti-clockwise moments 
and then you can as well get the weight the weight the weight of the bar of the bar you can as well get the weight of the bar okay now when you see these problems we have you say we have a uniform a uniform bar of length one meter that means from here up to this is one meter, like this one, it is like this, like this meter roll. You know this meter roll is uh, 100 centimeter and it is one meter, this is one meter. Compare now, one meter, this is one meter. So now it is like this meter roll and you see that the pivot, the pivot is here and which is, is sometimes can be as the knife edge. And uh, we have this weight which is uh, 15, this height. And then we have also this weight, which is a 2 newton, and then some distance from here up to the other edge is 20 centimeters. From here up to the pivot is 30 centimeters. So now we are going to determine the clockwise moment, anti-clockwise moment, and the weight of the bar. So now what we are going to do, I'll use this tap space. I'm going to use it here. Okay, you know that at the center, we need first to get the center of gravity of, uh, of this uniform bar, where all the mass seems to be concentrated, where all the mass of the bar is acting. So we need to first get to that point. So now it is like, it will be at exactly, remember, for the meter rule, it will be exactly the 50, 50 centimeter. But for this one, because it's one meter, that means 100 centimeter, that means it will be around, will be around the middle, somewhere here. So that one will be where the weight, where the weight of this what, of this bar will be after. Let me say that it is here. So now we have, if, if this body, we have this one here, which is two newton, two newtons, and uh, the distance from here to that is 20, 20 centimeter, and we know that the distance from here up to the other side, up to this side, is, uh, will be a half of one meter, which will be like 50, this will be 50 centimeter. Then, what will be now this distance here? The distance here will be now, you have to subtract 50 minus a 20. So this one here will be around 30 centimeter. So here will be 30 centimeter. From here up to this will be 30 centimeter. And also you know where the pivot is. The pivot is somewhere here. And uh, we know that the distance, we have another force here. This one, we, which is 15. This is 15 newton. And the distance from here up to this, as you see, 30 centimeter. Then what will be this remaining distance from the pivot? up to where the weight, where the center of gravity of the bar is. So will be, you say that, this one will be approximately 20. Because when you say that 30, 30 centimeter plus the 20, that is 50 already. Plus this one here, 30, that is 80. Plus the 20, you get 100. That means this one here should be, this one is 20, 20 centimeter. Okay, after getting that, so we are going to get now, the clockwise, the clockwise moment. So again, now the clockwise moment. Okay, we are going to take taking moments about. About this one here with the pivot, about the pivot. So now we shall say that a uh, total clockwise, total clockwise moments, total clockwise moments. My viewers, you can see total clockwise moments. So it will be 
you move in a clockwise direction. So we shall take this. This one here goes in the clockwise direction. With uh, the perpendicular distance from the point of from the pivot. And also this one here also moves in the clockwise direction. But this one, this one it is only in the anti clockwise direction. So we shall see for the clockwise moment. We shall see I can start with this. This is uh, two. This is a two time the perpendicular distance from here up to where the pivot is. That one will be from here up to this, that is the 30 plus the 20. So you get like around 50 centimeter. And that 50 centimeter converted to meter. Convert to meter. So that one will be 50 centimeter divided by 100. So you get what? You get 0. Point, you get 0. 0.5. You get 0. 0.5. So 50 divided by that. Then, plus, because we have two forces acting in the, and in the clockwise directions, one was this, and then this, and this one plus the weight, that is the weight, then time. What is that perpendicular distance from here up to this? That is 20. So 20 divided by 100, you get what? You get 0. 0.2. So we have, if you multiply this now, 2 times 0 0.5, obviously this one, because 0 0.5 will be 5, divided by 10, that means you get, you get 1 here, then plus, and this one times this, you have 0, point, 0 0.2 W. So this one here is the clockwise moment, and you have to give the units, Newton what? Meter. So this one here, is the total clockwise moment. Okay, let's also see what about total anti-clockwise, anti-clockwise, anti-clockwise moments. Anti-clockwise moment, you know we have, with this one here moves in the anti-clockwise directions, move like this, anti-clockwise directions, it's like you want to unscrew the nuts, move in anti-clockwise directions. So we have only this one here. So what will be that? So I get now 15, 15 times, I get 15 times, uh, what is this distance from here up to this, that is 30 centimeter, that's 30 centimeter you have to convert it to meter, it will be 0 0.3, so you have 15, so that one, this one here you can multiply because this one here is 3 out of 10, so 3 times 15 you get 45, 45 divided by 10, you have 4.5. So this one here will give us 4.5. But you know the units, that is a Newton meter. So now we have actually calculated the, the total clockwise moments and the total anti-clockwise moment. And then later, again, they say that, can we get the weight of the bar? You're going to get the weight of the bar. And the weight of the bar, we know that uh, we are going to equate from the principle of moments the total clockwise moment and will be equated to anti-clockwise so we can say that at equilibrium so we shall say that at equilibrium equilibrium at equilibrium we shall say that the total clockwise moments total clockwise moments will be equal to total anti-clockwise 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 moments so now later we are going to equate the two so equate so you come and equate okay, this one now is okay you raise this a little bit we equate so when you equate that you shall see that this one here which is the one plus 0 0.2 w that is the clockwise moments will be equated to anti-clockwise moment which is 4.5 so will be equal to 4.5 so this one here just uh, a matter of getting the w you this is now not physics is mathematics just a matter of uh, making w the subject of the formula how do we do it so i'm going to take you have to first take this on the other side so I'm going to take this on the other side. So I have 0 0.2 W will be equal to 4.5 minus 1. 4.5 minus 1. 
By doing that, so now you subtract that. What do you get? What do you get? So here you have 0 0.2 W will be equal to 4.5 minus 1. What do you get? You get 3.5. So now 3.5, we are going to divide by 0 0.2, divide by 0 0.2. So now this one will cancel, we have your W, which will be equal to 3.5 divided by 0 0.2. So you can multiply, this one you can multiply by 10 to remove the decimal point, multiply by 10, multiply by 10. So you have 35 out of 2, 35 out of 2 now. So you are getting now this one, 35 divided by 2, that's around 17. 17.5 so if I have 17.5 that one will be now the weight of uh, the weight of the bar so now my viewers this is how you can solve problems we are still proceeding with some other examples but uh, I, I, want, I wish to see you next time for the next meeting